Number 56, an Earth satellite moves in a circular orbit 640 kilometers above Earth's surface with a period of 98 minutes. What are letter A, the speed, and letter B, the magnitude of the centripetal acceleration of the satellite? For letter A, we want the speed of the satellite, and we know that the period of the movement is equal to 2 times pi times the radius of the movement over its speed. So the only thing that we have to do is isolate the speed. So the speed of the satellite is equal to 2 times the radius of the movement over its period. So that's the equation that we have to solve. So we need the radius of the movement and the period of the movement as well. Okay, so the radius of the, the movement, so just don't, don't replace R by this value here because it's wrong, because we have planet Earth here. Okay, so that's planet Earth and we have the satellite here. So that distance is this distance over here, this is 640 kilometers. But the true radius of the movement, you have to add the radius of the Earth. So this is R. So we have to add the, the radius of Earth. So if you Google the radius of Earth, you would find something like 6.37 times 10 to the 6 meters. So the radius of the movement is equal to 6.37 times 10 to the 6 plus 640 kilometers. So 10 cubed and this is equal to 7.01 times 10 to the 6 meters okay now we need the period we have the period in minutes we have to convert it to seconds so it is 98 times 60 and this gives us let's see this gives us 5,800 and 80 seconds so now we can just we just need to replace in this equation and that's it so the speed is equal to times pi times the radius 7.01 times 10 to the 6 over 5880 so this gives us a speed of 7.49 times 10 cubed meters per second. So that's the answer of letter A. For letter B, we want the magnitude of the centripetal acceleration of the satellite. And the centripetal acceleration is equal to V squared over the radius. So we just have to replace the speed that we just calculated and the radius, which is this one over here. So this is equal to 7.49 times 10 cubed this value is squared over 7.01 times 10 to the 6 and this is roughly equal to 8.8 meters per second squared and that's it